Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. And welcome to Pandemonium Palace. Tonight we're going to do a, well I don't know, we saw it on uh, some, some place. It was kind of a taco-y salad casserole, but I don't have all that stuff. So what we're going to do is, I've got uh, almost two pounds, a pound and a half of spaghetti. Up here I have oh, two pounds of ground beef, a package of fajita seasoning, a jar of salsa, uh, stewed tomatoes, diced zesty chili tomatoes, only because this is what was in the pantry. And then we're going to throw in some dark red kidney beans. That's the fire roasted corn. I've got some Velveeta cheese. And there'll probably be some other cheese. And yeah, I'm going to get this water boiling over here. Start off with the meat. Uh, I got peppers and onions. One of my favorite go tos. Peppers and onions, multicolors, uh, save the heck of a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you all back when I have something more to show you. Alright, so got the meat in here. I'm going to throw it in. Oh. Peppers and onions, and I've got garlic powder, lemon pepper, combination of almost everything that's in my house. A little bit of cumin and some ginger and garlic and onion powder. There is no MSG though. Onion powder. And a little bit of oregano. Now, a lot of people will cook the meat first and then add the and cook the veggies down and add them back together again. I like having all the flavors kind of blend in as they cook. Some of this meat isn't fully thawed. But, uh, anyway, water's about ready to start adding some spaghetti too. I'll bring you all back in a little while. I'm going to strain most of these.
not going to hold on. Hey, now I got to get this pasta out. Yeah, this goes. Whoops. Decided I didn't need to take the spaghetti out just yet. It's not quite ready. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good in there. We need just a little bit of this juice back in. And then we're going to thicken it up with cheese. At least I'm going to try to thicken it up with cheese so I can get it out of there. There we go. Let it simmer for a little bit though, we'll see what happens. What do you think? What do you think, John? Tom? Anybody? All right. Or something. Of course, I had to add some Earl's no. Roasted Ghost. Thank you, Chris. I want some but, of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mommy. Mommy. I think we're going to add some sour cream, Mommy. too. Mommy. I want some. 
the best part of have such a strong cooking over here is I don't have to do any cleaning up. <laughs> For very little anyway. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever you go. Leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fantastic. You want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram. I'll have some links in the description box where that happens to be on your device of choice. I'll also put links to similar videos, and you'll find my email and my spam mail. So if you love ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If you're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see y'all again. I hope you have a fan doc. Y'all today. Watch it.